In this video I want to give you a rundown on how to create your own map for a particular area which would be made up of a series of smaller maps. Now if you look at the 1 in 25,000 Victoria maps that we've been using from the Get Lost Map site, Victoria is made up of a whole lot of smaller maps um, and they're high definition maps confined to one smaller area and the whole lot of them together make up Victoria. But sometimes you want to actually make up a track and move across from each little map section to another one and you don't want to have to keep loading different sections of the map. So if you go onto the Aussie Explorer website which you can see on the screen right now and that's the home page it's Aussie Explorer 4 numeral 4 Aussie Explorer 4.com.au that's their main page. On the uh, left hand menu down here you've got an option for optional extras and utilities and links. If you click on optional extras you come to a page and just down a couple of uh, brackets from the top you see this here map merge for Aussie Explorer utility. Click on this map merge for Aussie Explorer it takes you to a page and it shows you uh, how to download and how to use the map merge utility which I've got. We'll show you that in a second. Just scroll down a bit here. It's a free utility which enables you to merge different uh, Aussie Explorer maps into one and you would just click here to download map merge. Okay, so that's quite simple. So having loaded your copy of uh, map merge into the, to the uh, computer, I've got a little shortcut here on the desktop. We'll start it up. Now, when you open yours, you'll see I've got here up in the top left hand corner a folder list and that's because I've been using uh, folders off the computer to make maps you won't have those you'll just have a blank screen you go up here to add where the cursor is on that little add button and you select the folder that you want to put into the map merge and it would be the Victorian 25k folder that's got all those 400 odd small maps in it and you would just click OK and it'll start loading the thumbnails for each of those and you can see it's loading them at a pace there's 431 to do. I'll put the video on pause here and we'll come back when it's just about finished. Alright so we're nearly there 431 loaded and the list will appear on the left hand side of all the the names of all those small maps making up the whole map of Victoria and it'll come up with a thumbnail in a second once it's processed all those and show you the entire map. There are options at the top here. You can show the map outlines. Tick that little box and there's the uh, number of the smaller maps all making up the state. And you can see where it goes over the borders. It's a very good little utility to just check where your map actually runs and where it doesn't. And you can also tick the little box to show the map names. So you can uh, see which one. You hold the mouse over any of those little squares. Uh, it just tells you where it is. There you go. There it's 17226-3 uh, Chinaman Flat. So that, that's part of the uh, the big desert map up the top. Anyway, I'll untick those two for a minute. And what we'll do is if we hit Create Map, which is your button up the top here right now, we're going to create an entire map of Victoria because that's what's been selected on the left. Now it can be done and you can create a seamless map in 1 in 25,000 but I can tell you, you probably allow a day and a half to two days for your computer to do it. Um, I've tried it and I got a day and a half into it and then we had a power outage and the whole thing collapsed so I haven't got around to doing it again. But you don't really need to do that, you can select areas. So if, if we click on here and select none of these maps to create our map and if we went to try and create a map now it would just say from selected maps and there aren't anything there's, there's no map selected fair enough let's just say that we want to create a map of the little desert which is in here on the left hand side of the map we would go and and you can actually scroll in a little bit more so this hand uh, cursor which I'm on at the moment basically means that I can hold the left button down and move the mass map around a little bit but if I actually wanted to uh, zoom in a bit I can click this one here which is press the left, left button now and create myself an area to look at and it zooms in for me and I'll go back to the hand cursor now. So it's brought in 
that area that I'm looking at being the little desert and again you can now show the map outlines again and you can show the map names again you can see them a little bit more clearly with what they're called now I still haven't got anything selected over on the left hand side here so I can't uh, make the map yet I have to actually select them and if you go up to the top here um, if I click this button on the left there map selection to select a map if I just double click on it now I've selected that minimum map if I scroll down here and find it in the left in the column you should find it coming up with a tick against it there it was we passed it there it is there Minime get lost map so you can see it's selected now if I create map now that'll just create me a map of that which is pointless because you've already got that in Aussie Explorer anyway I'm going to untick it again nothing's uh, selected so the idea is that you actually want to merge different ones so I'm going to go to the next little icon up here which is click that which will allow me to select an area I'm going to hold the cursor down about there drag it across and drag it down and let it go now I've selected the entire little desert if I go to create map now not from selected maps because it's not a map that's been selected it's an area or a region and I want this one here from drawn region all maps so all maps within this box that I've drawn here meaning that some of them We'll, we'll finish sort of here and you'll be getting an overlap of, of the map above it so it'll it'll chop that one in half and create me a map of that entire area that I've just covered there so from drawn region and up it comes and we can call that little desert put it in whatever folder you like from up here using your browser and hit save now it's going to start generating the map now this can take a while um, it's it's quite a heavy task um, a map like that don't know it could be a couple of hours you just can walk away and let it go I'm going to abort it now and I'll show you what it looks like when it finishes just in a very small section because basically you don't have to do any more if we um, just to show you how it finishes if for instance I just select that little area there just a small oh, I'll go even smaller that one there okay it's the same thing as selecting the big one we're just going to show you how it works I'm going to create map from the drawn region same again this time I'll just call it a test and I'd already had a test so I'll just override it now this is what happens it's generating the map and the rows the map's been done it's sharpening it and now it's going to save the image and it does a couple of passes won't take long because this is pretty small and it should be just about done finished okay so I can close that now now just to show you how it looks if I go to Aussie Explorer and open that up We'll load it and I'll go up here to load from file load map file test map and there it is there's the map view showing you the entire map if I scroll out a bit on Aussie all it is is a little bit of the little desert and that's it there that's all it was but the same applies when you scroll in you can see the definition still there the numbers are still looking good I'll close that now go back to the mail merge okay so that's basically how you do it um, it's just a matter of selecting this the Grampians so if I wanted to make myself a Grampians map just just have this selection up here done and I'll revert that map back if you lose your map by the way um, sometimes when I've been moving this around sort of things go a bit haywire 
and I've selected things and I don't want them just click that button there and it brings the map back so I go back to this little dotted lasso thing again and hold it you start in the corner hold the button down get the area I want let it go go back up create map from drawn region not drawn region selected maps because again there's nothing on the left so this one here and you just click that and I'd call it Grampians and I'd hit save and then when you've created that map it's make sure that you put it in the directory where Aussie Explorer is looking for all your maps another option on um, map selection would be just to use the um, selection box on the side here when you uh, bring your maps in you'll find that they're not in number order like they are here um, they'll be in the order generally that uh, they're in the map and they're pretty much all over the place number wise if you hit this selected maps bar just above the list of maps you can see that as I hit it it, it reorders them up and down in uh, number order from the start or alphabetical if they were in um, if there was no numbers on the maps so you just click that now that makes them easy to find if I want to go back here and forgetting about my um, squared selection here if I just want to select the minimum map for instance or the first one so I just want two maps I hold it over here and I know this one is 7124-4 um, minime and the one next to it is 7124-1 Garok so if I find them here there's 7124-1 and 7124-4 there's two maps selected both of those and you can see if I run the cursor around things see how the uh, the name is not really bold and as soon as I go over to the two maps I've selected it boldens up and it also highlights those two maps we could actually bring in another one what's that seven double two four stroke four so which is down here further down I've got to scroll down a bit seven double two four stroke four which is that one and there you go so now we've got three of them highlighted and we could create a map like that except this time we'd be going from selected maps click that and it will create the map and again you save it to whatever you want and away you go the only thing I don't like about doing that is that you can see these areas down below the maps here that, uh, that you're going to create in your map and that's just going to make the file bigger you don't really need it the advantage of um, and the same thing here if you went and selected this map to get the top of the uh, of the little desert there you've got all this area in the top of it that you don't really need whereas if you use the selection tool to select it you're cutting out this bit at the top that you don't need the other thing that I probably neglected to show you at the start was when you um, do bring this in and it comes up with your list of where you've got the maps from make sure you've ticked this box I can untick that box and it'll all disappear and I could tick one of the other boxes that I had say there's a Tasmanian one um, and it, it'll then bring up that list so when you do bring in your box for the your um, folder for the first time there you go there's the Tasmanian one so it'll it'll populate down here and on there depending what you've got selected at the top just something that uh, should have probably told you at the start but there you go that's how you do that now one thing I want to show you before we close this is the uh, settings because this program can save the maps in the same resolution that they're there which is the one in 25,000 it means it takes quite a long time and you can see on the left here of this uh, screen and on the right hand column it's got a pixel scale okay now it's showing about 2.4 2.83 2.5 thereabouts that's giving you the scale of these maps you want to match that up here in the destination map tab you've got a pixel scale that meters per pixel now I've got mine set at 2.50 and to me that's that gives me pretty much the same resolution as they were if you had that set at 5 for instance the maps will take half the time to create but when you look at them they won't have the definition the, the wording will be a bit fuzzy and the, so the higher that number obviously the less the definition the smaller the file uh, not really what you want the other option up the top is that you can have it create a temporary folder I just leave that as it is uh, the destination folder for where you want your maps to be stored can be changed to a uh, you could create yourself a stored map folder um, created maps folder and then again move them into wherever Aussie Explorer is looking for them 
so that's pretty much it uh, just make sure you're selecting the area that you want and uh, hit that create button and make sure that your resolution is 2.5 if you want really good maps and allow it to take some time I would suggest that you practice it just with a couple of squares just just put two together uh, let it go for half an hour or so whatever it takes and see if your map works by putting that back in Aussie rather than waiting till you do a whole big area and then you find you've done something wrong and it's not working or your resolution's not right so just do a little bit like I did before select a very small area see if that works for you and go from there that should get you through thanks for watching